This is the 4-4 and 4-7 review. Calculators are allowed, and this is number 8. So again, because I have a calculator allowed, the main thing I'm going to be doing is setting up a formula for the thing that I'm trying to maximize or minimize in terms of x, and then I will use my calculator to find all those locations and to answer the question. So if we look at part A, it says the point on this curve that is nearest this point will occur where y is a particular number. So I want the y value of the point that is closest to this one on this curve. So that means I need to be able to graph this. The quickest way to do that is to isolate y, and I will get y equals, looks like a negative one-half x squared. So that's going to be a parabola that opens down with a vertex at the origin. And then I have the point 0, negative 1 half. So I know the coordinates of this point, And I can pick the coordinate of off the curve. And then my goal is to get it to be the nearest. That means I need to be minimizing the distance between those two points. So I can write the equation for the distance using my distance formula from Algebra 1, Geometry, or Algebra 2. We use it in all of those. So the distance formula, if you recall, is the y minus the y squared plus the x minus the x squared or those could be switched, it doesn't really matter the order. So I'm going to rewrite that so it's easier to put into my calculator. Looks like I've got a negative one-half x squared plus a one-half, that's all squared, plus an x squared. So I'm going to go to my, well actually let's do the domain first. Looks like the smallest x could be Well, it looks like x can be anything. We can move anywhere on this to get a point. So we're not going to be able to um, limit our domain. The domain is just all reals. I can plug anything I want into there, and it'll still work. So we're just going to be looking for where the derivative of this crosses the x-axis. Because it's the nearest, that means we want the shortest or the smallest distance. So we need the derivative of this to be changing from negative to positive. So I'm going to turn on my calculator, clear out what's in there, go to my y editor. In y1, I need that distance formula. So square root, we've got to be careful that we keep all our parentheses correct. So this is the parentheses that opens the square root, and within that parentheses, I'm going to have two other things that are squared. So the first one is that negative one-half x squared minus the other x-coordinate, which was a negative one-half, so that becomes a plus a one-half. That becomes squared, and then I'm going to add that x-squared. Then I close the parentheses because I'm done with my square root. So let's double check that the root looks the way it's supposed to. Inside I've got that x minus, or y minus y quantity squared plus the x minus zero quantity squared. So we're good we're ready to graph. I'm going to turn off F4, and I'm just going to do a zoom 6, just a standard window, and I'll hope that I will cross the x-axis from negative to positive. But we're now going to find that 0, which looks like it's at 0. We'll verify that that is indeed the case. Lower bound, upper bound, appears to happen at 0, just as we would anticipate. That point's going to be closer than all the ones that are off to the side. So the x-coordinate was 0. That means the y-coordinate is going to be negative 1 half of 0 squared, which is also 0. So that's the coordinate of the nearest point, and we write y equals 0. For part b now, we want to maximize the distance measured horizontally. So this one's a little more challenging because we have to think about a horizontal distance. So the first thing I'm going to do is graph my two functions. I have y equals x, and I have y equals x squared. And I need to know the intersections. So x equals x squared, both at 0, 0. 
and also at 1, 1. So that means we're going to be looking between those values. That's going to give us some domain information. Now we also want to maximize a distance measured horizontally. So that means I'll be picking a point and then going across horizontally to the other point. The distance between these two is going to come from the x coordinates. So that means I need to be labeling the x coordinates in terms of a letter. So this is where it gets a little tricky because we're thinking horizontally but we're also in the coordinate plane so we can't use X's anymore. We're going to have to write our distance in terms of a different letter because if I label this X then I can't label this one X because the coordinates that are actually the same are the Y coordinates. So the X coordinate on this one is coming from the right side of the parabola. So that means if I rewrite this as Y equals X squared, the X will be the positive root Y. And if we look on this curve, this one is Y equals X, so the X coordinate is the same as the Y coordinate. So the distance now, instead of being in terms of X, is going to be in terms of Y. So the distance will be the right y coordinate minus the left y coordinate. I'll get a root y minus a y. And this is what I need to be maximizing. I also need to think about the smallest that y can be and the biggest that y can be. So y is traveling down to 0 and up to 1. So this one may actually be easier to do without trying to graph because it'll be too easy to get confused with the X's and the Y's if we try to change everything. So I'm just going to take the derivative by hand and I'll get a 1 half Y to the negative 1 half minus a 1 which is equivalent to a 1 over a 2 root Y minus a root Y over a root Y and I need that to be 0 or undefined. It will be 0 when the top equals 0, or when 1 equals root y, or when y equals 1, and it will be undefined when root y equals 0. Well, that's not in the domain, so we don't need to worry about it. The other will be when y equals Oh, sorry, thought there was an error there. I need a 2 root y. So that'll be when y equals the square of 1 half, which is 1 fourth. So verify, we're looking from 0 to 1. We have a 1 fourth. And prior to 1 fourth, say at 1 eighth, square root of 1 eighth, that would be a 1 over 2 root 2, that's a 1 minus a 1 over root 2, that's a positive number. Bigger than a fourth, say a half, then I would get a 2 over root 2, which is actually larger than 1, so 1 minus that, I would get a negative. So I got a max at 1 fourth, and the question is the maximum distance. So the distance when I plug in that 1 fourth is a root 1 fourth, minus a one-fourth, that's a half minus a fourth, gives me a one-fourth.